Man, so this podcast took a little twist. Here we are. We are getting hydrated <laughs> from the cruda. ¿Cómo te sientes? No, ya me siento más alivianado. Más alivianado. Estaba crudo, güey. You know? Ando crudo. <laughs> Jose, how are you feeling? I feel like Iron Man right now. Honestly. Oh, sheesh. It's in my veins. <laughs> To us alive. We took a quick little break to bring on our sponsor, Drip IV. The Drip Queen is here to tell us a little bit about what what is happening right now. So Vanessa, please explain to everybody what is happening. So we are hooking them up with IV hydration and vitamins. We're giving them some minerals, some B vitamins, and some vitamin C. Boost up their energy, boost up, boost up their immunity, because you know they're on the go. They're keeping their going. They're drinking their happy jazz, and this is what. They need, literally, to keep going. <laughs> so I already know this episode was sponsored by Drip IV. Vanessa, we appreciate you. Now back to the program. All right, everybody good? We good, Leo, we, you good, good? we good. Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> All right, one, two. It's Toast the Life podcast, the most authentic, the most organic podcast. One more time, baby. Let's go. What's up? <laughs> Yo. What's Gucci? For the third time, third time is always the best. But we are sitting here with literally without officially saying this, our hat sponsor is one of the only hats we ever wear in the podcast. Yeah, yeah. But we're sitting with the one and only Leo from the owner creator of Dandy Hats, baby. Yes, what's good? What's good? Man, Dylan. what's Luis? Sir, yes, sir. Pleasure. You've never called me Luis. Stop it. Uh, do school. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's stop that right off the beginning. But uh, we are sitting here now in your second location. You, I'll call it third. Yeah, you can say third. Say third. Yeah. First one was home. Second one was the first shop. No, it's four. Four. Yeah, because it was my room. Oh, okay. My room, my living room, then the other spot, and now this spot. So okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, it's always not. We never come down. It's always up. But has someone said today this guy doesn't just sell hats? Yeah, actually, one person said that. Someone said that to me. I was like, what? Yeah, whoa. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sounds <laughs> me, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out, Genesis. Genesis. Man, so we're here sitting in your shop, bro. Mm -hmm. Literally, the background is your product. Yeah. One of the drops. One of the drops. How many drops do you already have? To this year? Yeah. It's my first. Total, one. total, total. Oh, like since last year? Yeah. Oh, like, probably my ninth drop. Ninth drop. Yeah. What becomes different every single drop, bro? Well, every um, every, I I I like to um add like three, four designs to each drop, mm -hmm. and just change like the colorways of hats, the most sold hats. Man, so you are probably one of the most hyped hats outside of New Era and outside of. I would say even, I mean, shout out Breakout LA. I know they do their thing out there in Long Beach. Yeah. But for our Hispanic culture, for the young, like, bro, we were here in your grand opening, and yes. we seen a like, kid that was 10 years old, bro, 10, 11, yeah. walking out with 10 hats. That's nuts. That's crazy. That's nuts, yeah. As you're, much as, as, as surprised everyone is, I'm as surprised as you guys. Your <laughs> hat being resold on eBay. Yeah. And yeah. literally with, within a day or two, your hats are sold out. Okay. That what's that feeling like, bro? Because this is before we get into the whole, the whole yeah. backstory for the people that are just tuning in. Make sure you tune in and you subscribe. But what's that feeling like that you see even ten year old kids and thirty five year old people or older buying Leo buying dandy hats? Man, what's crazy, dude? Like it's like I said, it's just as much as you guys think it's crazy as I think it's crazy. Like it's not seeing like the type of um, love I'm getting from. Young people from old people and having people line up, having kids wanting me to sign their hats, taking pictures of me. I was just like, that. I was just like, that. I was just like, what? I, I saw that. What but I was, I was about to go up and hey, bro, can you, can you sign my hat real quick? What? What? I'm sorry. Uh, what? Like, what is this going on? I was just like in my head, signing things, taking pictures. I'm like, man, this is getting for real. Like, I felt like that. But but at what point did you know this was serious though? Because. For the people that don't know, and we just talked about this off camera, but I got mad at a post because you were like, 
<laughs> last year I was flipping tacos and one year into my brand now I'm here. Yeah. But it wasn't just one year ago. Yeah, no, no, no. This is would you say this is 2015. a 2015. This is a 7 8 year run. Yeah. Well, I just I I I said it because when I took it serious. When mm-hmm. I took it serious, yeah. Um when I actually like said, you know what? I'm going to do this for real and let's see what happens. I yeah. took a chance, I guess you can say. So seeing those amount of people that are outside waiting for your hats, that walk in, want to take a picture with you, sign their hat, what's that feeling like? Because I'm, I'm sure that's not – a lot of people don't get that type of love and yeah. and f- emotion through it because we've never felt that. Yeah. But you being in that now. Well, I was – I mean, it's nerve-wracking. I mean, I'm not I'm not going to lie to you guys and say, yeah, I expected all that shit to happen. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't wake up and I'm just like – all right, cool. Like, I'm going to have a bunch of people go to my stuff today. I'm going to have a, I'm gonna take a bunch of pictures with a bunch of, I'm going to sign hats. Like, nah, I woke up nervous as every, every drop, every every pop-up I've done. I'm, yeah. Like, I'm just nervous, like, like a whole week before I'm just like, damn, people are going to come. If people don't come, it's cool. Like, I'm not tripping. You know what I mean? Just, that means um, I got to work harder at doing something else. Maybe what I'm doing is not working. So, um, but yeah, I try to, I try not to um, get too, I, I, I'm not comfortable. I always want to, like, I'm always pushing myself to do better. Is there an expectation that you have, though, every time you drop a hat and, and a series? Well, yeah, I mean, it's not the expectation, but it's like, the like it's like you know, when you practice, like, you expect results, right? Yeah. So I, I can't really, per se, I can't really say, like, this is going to happen, but I can kind of say, like, okay, this, like, how everything's going, this is supposed to happen. You know, like, how the everything looking, like, okay, this is going good, you know, I'm doing good on TikTok, I'm doing good on, on Instagram, everyone's kind of commenting, so... It's looking like it's going to be good, right? It's looking like it, but it's never like, I'm for sure like, all right, I don't care. Like, yeah. it's coming, all right, everyone come. What's up? Do you, do you think, like, having expectations puts you in a position where you can fail on yourself? Uh, Obviously, you you come up with, with all these hats, and let's say, oh, I want to sell 200 hats a day. Yeah. You know, and your expectation is 200 hats, but let's say you, you sell 150. I mean, yeah. I mean, if I if I put myself in that in that, well, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's kind of like, damn, like, oh, like I, I wish I would have sold that many. Mm-hmm. But I mean, I try not to. I just I just try to take everything kind of like, like not expect nothing because I won't let myself down. You know, whatever happens happens, and if if it doesn't if it doesn't like exceed to what I thought is because I didn't put in the work for it to. So how do you come back though, when it doesn't ex- when it doesn't meet your expectation? Because like you said, when you create something. Yeah. You know this is gonna come out. You're like, dude, this is gonna hit. This is gonna be a sensation, yeah. and then for whatever reason, it doesn't work out. Uh, you, like, there's something that has to go through your yeah. personal mind and your emotion yeah. that takes you through that like moment. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I think I had one last last year with the drop that I thought like, damn, this has gonna go faster than all Which, the hats. How was that? Like, uh, it was the um, I had a lot of expectation for the sombrero TC one mm. with a bunch of sombreros. Yeah. I had like. I was like, for sure, that's just gonna hit because of arriesgado, because of all the movement with the with the cowboy. Um, yeah, but I mean, it just I didn't flop, but I, I it wasn't as fast as I thought it was gonna be. You know, exactly. I thought that was gonna be the first one out. What do you think moves better better for you, the ones that are simple and to the point, or the ones that have a little bit more it it be designed like the ones that we're wearing right now? Yeah, but in order, like for say, in order to do something like that. I need to do something like the charros because to get more eyeballs on my brand. Yeah. So I can I, I can now explore kind of okay. Now I can get kind of creative and okay, I look this is what I like and this is what looks cool. So let me bring that into the mix to see yeah. if people like that too. So now if you see like, you know, it's not all charros now or the teams. Yeah. Now it's like other things that I like, I bring it in. I, who I think someone has said it when we we're here on Sunday at, at your grand opening. Yeah. But um someone said I remember when Leo had his all black hats with the <laughs> literally just the initials of Mexico. Yeah. From there until now, the creativity is, and I was telling Dylan, I was like, how creative does someone have to be to be able to drop hats, not clothing, yeah. hats, hats. Yeah. and be popping so hard that right now we see the fit. Everybody that follows you on Instagram and all your, your platforms see the car that you have, but you very much well earned it. Yeah. How do you stay creative? Is there someone you go to it for advice? Is it something you just tell yourself and you run with it? 
Where does that come from? What it, what it, what inspires you? Obviously. Yeah. What inspires? Yeah. How the fuck are you? I so mean, we're, we're, we've we've taken out hats before. Um, we're still in the process of making hats, and obviously we come with the basic logo, and our head does not get out of that logo. Yeah. So for you to expand your logo into different hats like this, bro, you gotta have a big ass head for that. And, and to be able to have, and and for the people watching, I hope you guys end up. Coming to whatever job happens next, but being able to walk into this place that literally when you walk in, you'd be like, damn, there's going to be clothing around here. There's going to be something else for him to survive here. Yeah, yeah. As, yeah. It's just hats. It's just hats. That's it. So where's the cre- what inspires you? Where's the creativity come from? Uh, it's just homework, bro. It's just homework that I do every night, every day. I'm just looking at what people like. I just like, I'm looking at what people like. Um uh, <laughs> He's gonna bust a Leo. <laughs> I, I should like, call him. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it's just yeah, bro. It's just homework I do every day, bro. Like everywhere I go, I look at what everyone's wearing. Okay, that looks cool. All right, that looks dope. I'm always like looking at different brands, see what they're doing. Like, kind of like see what's popping. See if I like it. Okay, I like it. Um, I'll do it. I mean, it's crazy. Like, I really, I really can't like explain to you guys how it is because, like, I'm with my friends and I get like even for their brands, I get ideas for them. Like, hey, you should do this and do that. Yeah. And it just like it just it, I, I don't know it's weird bro like, but I do was, you do you ask opinions from your team in order for you to drop ahead or do you just say nah I say this is it mm. I say yeah, you know we're this is this is what I got I like this this one this one this one um this is it what what do you guys think we should what color or 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 I mean basically I I, I make the hats and I just show it to them and they either say I like it or I don't some people say they say some they don't like and say they do like, but like it's, it doesn't like. I mean, I don't mean to sound like 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 an asshole or nothing like that. But yeah. I, if I like it, if I see if I see, I'm like, it's cool. Let's do it. Obviously, you have a you have a different vision. Yeah, you have a set goal. Obviously, but yeah. like you said, everyone relies on their team, but there's always one ahead. Yeah, that has a different vision from the team, yeah. and I feel like. You you're well off like that, bro. You're good. You're good. Thank you. And it's not that you're coming off as an asshole. It's just a team needs that, bro. Yeah. And a team needs a leader. Your, your, your team needs a leader, and bro, you're 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 well off as as a leader, bro. You're, Thank you're well you. Off I, as I think leader. there's everybody has to play a role. Yeah, yeah. Everyone. There there are certain people that will lead the team, and there's certain people that will carry the team. Yeah. Right. Without you know, without even talking about your actual team, there are certain people that help your team to like stay together. And to help us, you know, be this. And now you're a witness to what our team looks like. Yeah, yeah. And everybody here, and it's like, yo, there's a balance, bro. Because I could be this, like, I'm impatient, very, like, I got to go. I got to do this. And then someone's like, I'm going to, hey, yo, think about this real quick. Yeah, yeah. Takes us a step back. It's like, all right, you know what? We do got to think about this. Yeah. But we have a balance. But at the end of the day, how you said if I feel like this is going to work, well, if I can only blame myself if it doesn't work, yeah. not you anymore. Yeah. So what would you give that for anybody that, for the people that are trying to like, I'm sure you've had a lot of people come up with up to you saying, I want to start a brand, but I don't know how. Yeah. That are, it's not even, everybody knows how to start a brand. You got to go get hats. You got to get a designer. Yeah. But being creative yeah. and, oh man, I don't know if this is going to, like the self-doubt. Yeah. What do you tell someone that has that type of self doubt? Man, well, I, I'm not gonna lie to you guys and say like I'm super confident. I still have self doubt myself, you know. But I, mean, I feel like it it works to my advantage though because mm-hmm. it's like I'm never like sleeping. Like I'm never like I said. I'm never just like I got it. I'm <laughs> like, like who cares? Like I'm gonna take this out. And people are gonna buy it. Like nah, everything, everything goes through the process. And I, I would just say like like you said, it's just patience, bro. Like. Like I'm very patient. Like I, like I'm, I'm chilling. Like I, I can literally make more hats and make more money, but I don't want to. You know what I mean? I, I, I want this longevity. Not, and everyone right now that hits me up for brands, they want everything quick. They think just because I'm making some bread, they think they can make some bread as well. But it, it's much more than that, bro. It's like, I mean, I had to go through so many things, um, that put me in this position. I had to learn things. I had to take years off. I had to go through certain things to get me to the point. Like. You know what? Like I'm done. Like I'm gonna do this for sure. Like I'm gonna do this for real now. Talk about that. Talk about one of the hardest moments you had to go through as your brand and as your as your personal. Oh well, the brands because everyone like it would it would even be kind of like uh, like um, like vergonzoso. How do you say that in English? 
We gotta talk English. <laughs> That'd have been so so. I, I would well, be ashamed. I would shameful. be ashamed, bro. It would be shameful, yeah. bro, when I would go out and people be like, hey, what's up with the hats? And I'd just be like, ah, fuck, well. Now, well, I mean, just wait on it, you know? Like, it would be shameful, bro. It would be very shameful. Yeah. Like, like, damn, like, I knew in the back of my head, I'm like, dude, if you, if you just fucking put, like, the effort into it, like, you can, you can be somebody, you know? Yeah. But it was, I always had. Other things going on, like um, uh, uh, like just other things in my life going on, which so partying, um, you know. So talk, but I saw, this is one of the things I do want. To, I do want you to shine light on, yeah. because everybody thinks that, and if for, if people watch this since 2015, they saw you partying, they see you partying, they see you do all this, but we've never really talked about one of the hardest moments you've ever had in your life. Which is one of those one of those moments where you're like, "Fuck it, I gotta quit, I gotta do something else because this isn't working," or I don't have the support from the people that I want it from. Yeah. So I, I want you to bring up to that light because these this audience that you do have, bro, yeah. it's not just older older guys our age or young or older. It's younger. Yeah. And it's about the younger generation coming up because all, all of us older people like we can figure this shit out one way or another. But the youngers that are just looking for that one answer, they haven't gotten that authenticity of an answer. So, I, like, you being Leo, yeah, the hardest moment you personally had to go through that you had to overcome personally in order for you to function as Dandy. Well, honestly, bro, lay, like, I still remember, dude, laying down in my bed, like, like just, like, saying, like, damn, how, how can I make some, like, being, like, I mean, my dad would pay me a thousand bucks a, a week, right? So, I always... I, I would work. I would make tacos. My dad has a restaurant. He paid me a thousand bucks a week. I had my nice little car, but I would that the thousand bucks he would pay me by the by Wednesday. I would have two hundred bucks. So it was like just like that. And I was just like that. I was sick of being like I was like laid down and be like, what can I do? Just what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? And like it was just like there was nothing. It was empty. But my head was just empty, dude. It was just like man, there's nothing. Like how can I make some money? Like did you feel like you were lost at that point? Yeah, I was lost. Yeah, I was lost in in the sauce. I was lost in the sauce, you know, trying um, trying to be somebody I wasn't, trying to show people that I did have money, but then I really didn't have money. It was like, it's like a, it was like, a, it was myself. Though. It was like me fighting against myself, like yeah. trying to prove a point, but they're like, dude, like, why are you doing that if, if it's not really like that? So and what if, was that? Like, like, I don't know, bro. I just, I was just tired of being where I was at, dude. Just, just tired. Just, I was just like, you know what? Like, I got to do something right now or else like. And the only thing that I could know how to do that I was, like, a little bit good at besides making tacos and burritos was, like, my hats. You know what I mean? Like, that was, like, something that was, like, like that was something that I was good at. But because, that didn't, oh, go ahead. Go no. ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> no, because that was something I was good at because I did make some money when I was making. I, I did stop working, actually, for, like, four or five months doing my hats. You know what I mean? So I was, like, man, I just got to hop back into it. But, like I said, I was ashamed to be, like, like, I was I was caring about, like, damn, this fool says he's going to come back. All right, yeah, he's going to come back. He always says that. You know what I mean? But. I mean, I guess you just have to take like a like a, a humble pill and be like, you know, yeah, like fuck it. You know? I, w I would have to be really honest and and say you were a talk of the town, Mister Leo, Mister Dandy is this and he's here and she he went silent for a, for a while, yeah, and then now everybody that is coming around is you know you get that. I mean, everybody gets that when you're not popping, when you're not relevant. Everybody doubts you, and everybody says, "Yeah, bro, I, I already knew he wasn't gonna do shit." Yeah, and then boom, you get that spotlight, yeah. you get that moment, you get that little light in your life, and you're like, "You're shining," and then everybody just comes out of nowhere. Bro, I've always believed in what you were Some doing, bullshit. like that. It's always That's, like that. It's always. Shut the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> shut hey, bro, up, bro. I, I, it's cool though. Like it's cool. Like it's cool. Like I, 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 there's a lot of people bro, that didn't believe. Like I wasn't do this new thing. Like. But I don't blame them, though. I don't blame them for not believing in me. Because if I would have been me, like, I would have been like, nah, fool. Like, you, you. <laughs> like the, the thing with me was I would talk too much, bro. Like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And like, okay, well, when are you going to do it, bro? Like, I'm seeing you three months later. What have you done? Oh, I'm still yeah. in the same spot. So I don't blame them, bro. But I don't blame people for not, you know, believing in me. You know what I mean? Because I didn't believe in myself. Dude, how do I expect people to believe in me? So what, I, what I've learned is just kind of just to shut up. Don't say nothing and just let the work do the talk. You know yeah. what I mean? And that was a big thing for me because I would, I mean, it's like, it's cool to be like, 
yeah, like we're doing this, we're doing that. Like when I was really coming out right now, I do post a little, I do share a little bit more, right? But before when I was like on the, like, like on the grandma and I was like, you know, what? I'm just going to shut up and I'm going to learn and I'm going to, and I'm just going to not say nothing to no one because I even saw on podcast, like you talking about your plans, bro. It's like dopamine for you. Like you get excited. Oh and yeah, exactly. You, I, I saw that yeah. post. Right. I saw that. Yeah and, yeah. and like you don't end up doing it because it's like you, you talk about it so much that that, that gets you hyped up and that's cool. Like you kind of settle. But I think it, it goes into some like there there is a there's a fine line through it. Like if, from the point where you're saying what you're gonna do on like if we say this right now, like there's now a self affirmation like, yo, I gotta do this. But then it goes to that point where your word is your bond. Yeah. So if you don't go out and do that, you're not letting down the other people that are watching, you're letting down yourself. Yeah. Right? Because if we stop doing what we've been doing, no one really cares. They just say, oh, go get a job for you. You'll be fine. Yeah. But in reality, for if we let go of the brand that we've been building, there's a piece of us that dies with this shit. Like, yeah. it, we go through, like, a, a internal death that we're just like, damn, bro. Like, this is more than explanation, bro. Like, Yeah, like, I think about it, too, bro. I'm like, damn, what am I going to, like, what if, the, like, I'm just scared. Like, I'm just like, damn, I don't see, I don't see nothing Past beyond dandy hats. I don't see nothing, bro. Like, I just see, like... Live and breathe. Yeah, like, it's just that. Like, I don't know if tomorrow comes, I'm like, something happens, like, what the... F like, I'll be, like, destroyed, bro. But I'll be destroyed, but I'll be like, nah, I can... Like, I believe in myself. I can do it again. So for the for that part, yeah. live and breathe your brand. Yeah. What do you take from that? How do you feel about that? What Put it in your words. I, I enjoy it. I enjoy it, bro. I, I, love, I love to do this. Like, I, I don't find this as work, like... Like all day, every day. Right now, talking to you, I'm thinking about what else I can do. You know what I mean? Like it's just on it every day. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's I live, breathe, and 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 you know I do everything for Dandy Hats. You know, I just I like it. I like it. I love doing this shit, bro. I love being. I love. I love. I love. Like I love this. I love being in this position. Like this is why I started. Like Dandy Hats was started because I wanted to be known. Because I wanted somebody to walk in a room and be like, "Hey, that's yeah. that's that guy, right?" There's but my, my childish mind, right? My childish mind. This is like this is what my childish mind yeah. wanted. You know what I mean? At at the time when I I created this, yeah, I wanted that. Like, oh, I know that guy. There's that that song. I think we we actually did a reel to it too, and it, it was like I just want to be famous. I always wanted to be famous, and it's like, yeah, bro. Like in reality, i like, even myself. I always wanted to be in this type of spotlight. And but I didn't know exactly why I wanted to be in there. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to be in there because I wanted to just be cool. I wanted to be known. Yeah. And then it turned into like, yo, I want to house so many mother, like people. <laughs> Sorry, I want to house so many motherfuckers. <laughs> All right, fuck it. Hey yo, I, hey, hey. I want to house so many motherfuckers <laughs> out there. Yeah, right. Like, like I want to house so many people out there because so many people get like the fake side of it, and the nice side of it. Like, yo, if you work hard, you'll you'll always. Make it. True, true, true. Sometimes you work so hard and you never fucking make it, and it's because that. You suck. <laughs> but it's that one point where like where this sucked and you kept going and then you made that negative position into the most positive, yeah. and you learn from that mistake instead of well I tried it for now I quit. It is what it is. Now I'm working nine to five, bro. We're not nine to five people. Yeah. We've started there and that we only did that because this had to provide for this. Yeah. But there's still a long road. You're talking about you've been in this shit eight years. Yeah. Somebody wants to do that same result you have in eight years. They want to do that in a year. Not even a year, bro. Six months, four Two, months, three, three months. months. They want they feel like one drop is gonna get them to the promised land. Nah. And I, not, I what what I think about that, sorry to interrupt. Yeah. Is they don't see the struggle behind everything, bro. They just see what's on social media. They just see what's dandy shows, you know. Obviously, yeah. dandy doesn't show the struggles you go, the sleepless nights you spend in here, fucking, di you know, designing stuff. And st yeah, it's just that's what social media and you know society puts out there. Yeah, but there's struggle to everything, bro. What's the struggle here that no one knows that no one sees? Once once we leave here and we turn off all the lights and we turn off the cameras, there's only one person that has to worry about dandy reality. Yeah. yeah. So what does that look like? Well, I mean, now I have a lot more like things I have to be responsible for. Dude. Now I have like a I have a freaking I have to pay for this spot, first of all. You know, that's something like I'm just like, damn, like 
Like, <laughs> that's crazy. Like, you know what I mean? But, um, but th- what's crazy is that how, like, I felt scared of moving here, bro. Like, you know, I pay, like, I pay some good money to be here. And, but it felt, but the reason why I did get it was because as much fear as I felt from getting that first place, paying 900 bucks is the same fear I felt getting this place. And at the time, even, but it was even worse at that time because honestly, when I did get that first warehouse, I didn't even know what's up. Like, I didn't know what was going, what, like, I didn't even know this shit wasn't even going to pop off at all, bro. Like, I was literally, like, in the blind, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, coming into here, like, I wasn't going to, first of all, first, I wasn't going to get this place because it was too expensive, right? Um, because still, at, I mean, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm imperfect. Still, I was, I was like, damn, I'm going to waste so much money on that when I can get another car, another doper car. I can, you know, get my dream apartment I want that, you know, so it would kind of hurt me, but I'm like, like, nah, bro, like, you got to be, like, I, I had like a little maturing stage. You're like, nah, like, this is going to help you get, like, I was, like, I, I was patient. Like, I was patient to like, nah, this is going to get you that, that car you want and the apartment you want at the same time. So, like, that was, that was, like, that was the struggle I had then. But, like, the struggle now is, like, I have, like, a lot of people. Well, I have, I mean, I don't have, I have myself, of, like, that I have to, like, like I said, here. I need here. I have, you know, I have to pay my car. I have to pay all my bills. I like to live nice. I like to, like, you know, it's like that. I think that's what kind of keeps me going, bro, like that. Like, I want to have a good life. So, I got to, you know, work hard to be able to give me that nice life that I always dreamed of, that I, I I want to fucking do whatever I want, whenever I want. You know what I mean? So that's like, that's, that's what I want, you know? And I, I don't want to lose that. You know, I, w- I want to keep that hunger there like, because that like hungry, 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 hungry. I need that. So that, is that the motivation? <sighs> nah, it's, that's not the whole motivation, but that's like, so it's the first part is because I want to grow this brand. Like that's the first thing. Yeah. But that's the, that's the second thing right there. Like, like this is what makes me happy. Like, what gets me more happy is than selling that than making money is seeing my my hats out there randomly like yeah. like seeing one of seeing people famous people wearing my hats people that are famous that I look up to be like hey I know who you are dude like yeah it's you know, just crazy in that work you know what I mean yeah but it, but all this has to go like you know like you know like all the all the like everything has to go with one another you know like if I didn't if if I didn't have a a, a nice whip people wouldn't take me serious. Because, like, it's, like, you got to think about, it, like, now is, like, this world is a round of what you see. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So you always have to, like, invest in yourself mm-hmm. so people can be like, man, why is that fool driving that car? He must be doing something. He's either selling drugs or he has a business. <laughs> you know what I mean? And what are people going to say? Yo, I mean, let me go check the drugs. <laughs> you know I mean? Let me go check the bag real yeah. quick. <laughs> you know what I mean? But when you when you walk out, hey, what do you do? Well, in, and you start talking, and they be like, oh, this fool knows. Like, this fool knows. Uh, what that's, yeah. why he's, that's why he's in Oh, yeah, car. when you invest in yourself and people see – what you're investing into, they're like, oh, he's serious. And that, that's it, bro. Whatever craft you have, whether it's reselling shoes, Anything. if you're reselling shoes and you have beaters on, they're going to be like, you're not serious. Yes. But if you have the Dior, if you have the, whatever, you know, the off-white, whatever, the, mm-hmm. whatever shoe that is up there, they know you're serious. They know you know what you're talking about. Yeah, so exactly. whatever your craft is, if you're doing what you got to be doing and you're showing for it, those people will take you serious because now it's not about impressing the person that is not doing it. It's about impressing the person that is doing it. Yeah. yeah. Because those people are the ones that are going to take you even higher. Exactly. Yeah. Those, those are people that are going to bring you on their shoulders and be like, you know what? I saw this in you. Let's fucking do this together. You know? Yeah. Hey, we good, Ramiro? Ramiro. Guys, we good. We good. We good. We good. We <laughs> now we need you to hit the low. <laughs> ah, <it's laughs> you, there's a lot of shit that people, I feel like people just don't know about <clears throat> what it took in reality to even open this type of store. Yeah. But, like, what the, f- what happened? It takes a lot of balls. <sighs> Period. Purr. Purr. I mean, nah, like, okay, how do you, can you say that, like, for both, both genders? I don't know. Hey, whoa, 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 okay. <laughs> it took a lot of, okay, it took a lot of guts. It, it takes a lot of guts. A lot of guts. We, we a all lot have of guts. guts. Yeah, we all have we guts. Have guts. <laughs> took yeah, a lot of guts. kind of like, what the hell? <laughs> nah, it took a lot of guts, bro. It takes, takes a lot of, like, it just, avientate, dude, like, just freak it, like, go all in yourself. I went all in. 
all in. I just went. I just got everything. Like every, literally everything. I just went. That's it. And just not even <laughs> go like this. I went like this. You gambled you, everything. You bro. saw it. Yeah, you saw like the this. gamble. Yeah, I went like this. I didn't go like this. You did you have like any self doubt in that point though? Like when you put everything into this? Uh, I did, but like, I did, but um, mm-hmm. but if you if you go like if you if you, I did right because like I said I like I, I'm still surprised everything's going on right I'm still surprised, but if you actually like go into like you know numbers and 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 and, 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 and TikTok and Instagram and see everything is like kind of just planned out for you like. Okay, you're ready to do this. Like, you're ready to do this. You're, you're financially ready to do this. You're mentally prepared to do this. Mm. You're, you're physically incapable of doing this. Your men, your mental state is a good place to do this. So it would be stupid of me not to do it, right? Yeah. Because I mean, it's self doubt that I still have. Like, damn, like I don't know, but, like, but you look at everything and you're like, you know what? Yeah, this is your best you. And plus, I have a team too, right? So I have a, I have an accountant, and I say to the accountant, hey, bro, can we do this? Can I afford this? He's like. Yeah, bro, you can. <laughs> yeah, well, what are you scared of? You think you're not gonna? You think you're not gonna do better next year? No, I think then. Yeah. You can, you can do it. I don't know why you're calling me for. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, all right, then, then let's do it. Yeah, like, I won't call you next time. I'm like, <laughs> I'm not call you next time, but like, just like I said, it was kind of like it was just scary. Like, oh damn, like yeah. I have like an actual like responsibility now. Like, but over there was kind of like just. Word of mouth, like no signing, no paperwork, no nothing. Like I actually had to give a down uh, a deposit here for a month. I had to pay light here, like actual light. I had to pay trash here. Like oh, turn off trash. the LED lights in the back. We don't hey, want turn off the wanna, lights on like, the I AC. Tell, turn I it off. I tell these guys, hey guys, turn off the lights in the back. We're on the back. Turn them off. Like I'm just, like super like. Hey, we just, we just saw Ramino. <laughs> we just saw Ramino with with his with his heater. No, that that guy takes his heater everywhere, bro. Like I had to get like I had to get an alarm system. I had to get cameras, like it's like now it's like oh shit, like now it's it's serious. Now I feel like an actual like business dude. Like all right, dude. Like there is a I got to bring it up now, but you when we walked in and we were talking, um, hearing your story, you said when you got up and you went to go take a shot, you started crying. Oh shit! (laughs) He's like, oh, you brought that shit. Here it is. Yeah. What? Why did you start crying when it's your grand opening day? When it should be a, a moment of happiness, a moment of excitement. No, I was excited, bro. It was just like it was. I was just like kind of like, damn, I can't believe it. I was just like, damn, it's crazy. Like I actually like, like I don't really have those moments to myself where I'm like, okay, like it's happening because like I like to just like, go, 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 and I don't like you know I don't like to stop and be like, okay, wow. No, I like to be like go, go. So that moment I was just like showering. I'm just thinking like everything like going through my head. I'm just like, dude, this is really happening, dude. Your store is your dream store is like ready to go. Like this is what you wanted. Like. This is it. You you have everything to do it. You did it. Like this is your vision coming to. I'm just like I'm just showering and just. I'm just like I just stopped. And I'm just like damn. I just, I just got very emotional. Yeah. And I just started let two three tears down. And what <laughs> was the tears or water? That was tears. <laughs> that's, that's that's why you shower while you <laughs> cry so no one can see you cry. Right? right? You couldn't yeah. even know what's happening. Yeah. But it's the shampoo in my eyes, yeah. dog. And then this guy goes, dude. I swear to God, <laughs> dude. I swear to God, <laughs> Ramiro. I literally was having my moment, and he goes, and he goes, boom, 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 on the door. I'm just like, oh, shit, all right, cool. Never mind. I'm like, all right, cool. (laughs) Are you just not an emotional person to, like, how you said you don't take a a moment back to really realize what you've been doing? No, like, I'm a super emotional person, bro, like, super emotional. But, like, I feel like that in my life has caused me to be, like, has stopped me from doing a lot of things, from being too, like, emotional. Like, it's just too emotional, like, where I get stuck. Somewhere, like I just, just I want to keep going, going, going. So going. is that one thing you avoid now? Being emotional, yeah. Being emotional, yeah. No more emotional, because emotional. I mean, for me, it wasn't good. Like I was the type of person to get emotional. It would just stop me from doing everything I wanted. You know, like even like if I get like some people hating on TikTok, it like kind of gets to me. I go like, yeah. You're always gonna get hate, bro. Yeah, so it, like, I'm still working on that right now. That's what I'm working on. Like you know, right now there's a like right now there's a lot of people like, um, how can I say this? I wouldn't say like say say however it comes to you. Uh, I don't want to call it like stealing my ideas because like in reality, like not that I stole from someone, but I actually got influenced by someone else. But you know, I see like a lot. I've I've started to like influence a lot of people to make hats and kind of like do what I'm doing. You know what I mean? 
Mm-hmm. And it's kind of like frustrating, kind of like, damn, like, all right, it's cool. Like, I got to take it like, you know, I got to, I was watching this podcast. It was actually like a video on YouTube. It's like, I got to take it more as like flattery. Yeah. Like, I'm doing something right. True, and it's true, been very, true. that's been very, very hard for me to like kind of take that humble pill. Oh, hell yeah. And, and not, and not kind of be like, like, like I want to be like, nah, like, I want to send a message and be like, hey, what the hell? Like, why are you doing this, dude? Like, but then I just look at myself and I'm like, dude, like, well, you kind of did the same thing, but like, you're not me. You kind of did the same thing, but I just switched it up in a whole different way where you can't be like, hey, you, you copied me. Like, you copied me. Like, now I switched it in a way where you're like, okay, it's kind of similar, but. He has his own thing, but now it's just kind of like, 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 like if it if it's a hundred percent, a hundred percent is like about seventy five percent, eighty percent, like what they're kind of doing. So it's just yeah. gonna, it gets me kind of like, uh, like, but, but I mean, you got to take it to like that that type of like mentality and consideration where you hit a pinnacle in your life for your what you're doing. It's a market that's so saturated because everybody comes out with hats and think that because that guy was successful with hats. And I will be too. But in reality, like, it's not about the hat anymore. It's about the person creating. Yeah, yeah. It's the creator of the hats. It's the owner of the hats. It's True. the face behind the whole brand, yeah. right? Like, you can come out with whatever else you come out with. But because people mess with who you are and fuck with who who you are, they're going to go and buy it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it, it it's not more, like, we can, us here, we can try to duplicate everything you're doing. We're going to take the same shit. We're going to take it to another guy and make it. I'm going to use this as Dylan has. Yeah, yeah right? Andy has, right? But, <laughs> but when, I've been, right? I've been putting some time <laughs> really did. Hey, yeah, tomorrow, yeah. hey, drop me Dylan hats tomorrow. Hey, tell us a lie. Dylan hats dropping tomorrow. Stay tuned. But in reality, when it was, a, I remember there was one, one time and this was at a concert and I was in line going to buy water. I'm nah, just kidding. That wasn't gonna buy water. <laughs> we're gonna buy a chela. Group of Come holy on, water. He was gonna buy Group holy water. We're gonna sure. buy a chela. And then there's a guy, bro, probably like 25, 26, and I see him wearing a certain hat. And I was like, "Yo, I know the creator of this shit." So like, I sent it to you. Yeah. I literally was like, "Yo, you mind if I take a picture for my guy? Like, I know who owns this." Oh hell yeah, bro, Dandy, say less. <laughs> I was like, damn. Yeah. There's a whole, there's, bro, there's literally people that admire who you are and what True. you have. Yeah. How do you embrace that? What does that do to you? Like, what is that as, as a man, as a, as a creator and owner, what does that do to you? True, true, true. And if you don't mind me interrupting, yeah. if you don't mind me to try to piggyback off of what you don't said, do that. Um, a lot of people look up to you, bro, and yeah. a lot of people are inspired by you. Yeah. And a lot of you, Without knowing, you create a lot of entrepreneurs. Yeah. Like the kid we saw, the the, the 15 or 12-year-old kid that we saw. Yeah. Taking 10 hats, bro. What is he yeah. going to do with those 10 hats? Obviously, he's not going to wear He's going to resell those motherfuckers. <laughs> I got an official daddy hat exactly. signed hat. Say $200. Two exactly. So he's, 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 he's inspired by you in a way where he's like, all right, I, I can... Based off of what Dandy did, I can get... Yeah, fuck of this, yeah. You know? yeah, yeah. What, what do you have to say about that, bro? And well, I mean, to those to those kids that resell your stuff, to those people that resell your stuff, and look up to you, we're like, okay, because of him, I'm out. I can hey, I can do this, bro. You, how Dre said, you're a legend. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I want to thank them back, you know, because I do it because of that. So I do it for that, and then they do it for this. So it's kind of like a give and take, like give, give and take. take. Like you All you right. do it for this, and then I inspire you to do this, but then you inspire me to do this again. You know, kind of like it just kind of goes like. So I feel like that's how that's how that is right there. Yeah. Is there is there also an emotion because coming from Hispanic parents, yeah, being your own entrepreneur is not pushed. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, it, our dad. We've talked about this prior, but now that we're here in this type of chair, if you if your parent has a business, they expect you to follow that business and grow it. Yeah, but if you come out with your own business, they don't want you to push it because you can no más ayudar a caro que. <laughs> You're not gonna help me out over here or what? Especially when it's something so different from when they were ever used to, yeah. which is work really hard, yeah. blood, sweat, and tears, break your back, compared to dress nice, be creative, and post. Yeah. How does that feel that we were here present when your dad walked in? Oh yeah. And even the first time you did a drop, seeing your mom, seeing all these people walk in and saying what's up to you. 
I, I feel like they're more, I feel like they're more, like, grateful for, like, the people than, than I, like, they're more grateful, like, I'm grateful for the people that support me, but I feel like they're, like, three, four times more grateful for their people, because yeah. they get to see their son kind of, like, like, damn, that's dope, like, because of them, like, my son can do that, you know? Was there a self-doubt, though, like, from your parents than to you? Oh, I mean, yeah, bro, I mean, like... I always bash my dad and, and um, not as much my mom, but I always bash my dad and like the podcast and stuff. So like, you know, dad, like it's not, you know, but it's just, it's, 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 it's like, you know, I don't want to bash you. Like it's, it's not that they didn't believe. Cause in the beginning I thought like, oh, like they don't, they don't know what I'm doing. Like they don't like, they don't believe in me, blah, blah. But like now taking a step back, it's just like, they wanted to take care of me. You know, they didn't want yeah. me to go through, like they didn't want me to spend all my savings. Like I had to sell my car, had a, you know, a little bit of savings. And put it all into the biz at once. You know they don't want to. They don't want to see me fall. So they're like, "Hey, just don't do it." You know, wait, take it, take a step back. Wait, what? Did, what? Did, what did you just say? What? <laughs> you had to sell your car? Yeah, I sold my car. I sold my Corvette. For what? Because I got. I had to. Have, I got to get money to buy the hats. <laughs> what you mean? He's like, I'm gonna be riding that fucking hat. Hey, y'all. hey, hey. <laughs> Why did you have to do that though? Because someone wouldn't have the guts to do that. Yeah, the guts. Man, well, I don't, like I said, I just went all, dude. I just feel like I was prepared. Like I was like, whatever. Like I was, I was prepared to like the point where I'm like, okay, I know what I'm doing. So when I do, when I when this chance does get here, like I know I'm gonna be able to, like, because like I said, it goes all back to like it's like it goes back to okay, you're doing this, you're doing this, so the outcome. Is gonna be this, right? But you're not 100 percent that the outcome is gonna be like that. So I was like, again, I bet it again all of myself. I right, fuck it, I'm gonna do this 100 percent. And sell my car. I'm gonna get like I think I got, I can think I got like about fifteen thousand dollars like from my pocket for my car. And then the other money I had saved up, and I was like, fuck it, like let's do it. So boom, I just put everything, put everything into the business, and I was like, let's do it. Like if it, ha- like if. It kind of like I'm like I'm I'm big on like kind of if you don't try you're gonna look back later in life and be like damn I should have done it mm. and it's gonna kind of kill you like in, later on in life like damn yeah. if I would have done this it would this would have happened if I would have done that like there's no yeah. if I did this or if I didn't like anything that I think about doing like I'm gonna do it just so later in life I'm not gonna be like damn I wish I would have done that what what was I know you you spoke about it in Jose's podcast but what was like the biggest amount of money that came into your hands in one of your drops that you were just like, fuck. Like and how did you feel about it? Like about $110,000. Sheesh. Yeah. We're not, we're out. <laughs> Hold on. I like, can, I get a re- can I get a refund on my head real quick? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm uh, uh, <laughs> um, I had to pay for that. <laughs> yeah, it was a part of it. It, it it came defective. It has a D on it, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How'd you feel about that though? Because That's so crazy. when when you talk about over a hundred k hitting your your pocket, hitting your bank account, and you you go back to those moments where you had to sell whatever you had yeah. in order to put this in there, bro. I just screenshotted my bank account. I sent it to my dad. Sheesh. I was like, look, Dad. And he's like, damn, that's crazy. <laughs> damn, that's crazy. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was like, damn, 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 that's crazy, yo. Like, this is crazy, dude. Like, I was just like, damn, that's a lot of money. That was a lot of money. Like, hitting the bank kind of one time. I mean, I already had I had more money. Like, I had money in the bank. So, yeah, yeah. kind of like everything kind of like together was just like, damn, like, this is crazy. Like, he's like I can't believe it, dude. It was, he's probably, but, he's probably but, like, dude, like, you know what's crazy? Like, it didn't make me feel any different, though. Like, it didn't make me feel like, how can I explain to you, like, it just made me feel like if I were to have, like, $5,000 in my bank account. Like, it, it wasn't, like, I don't know, it's weird to explain. Like, it, it wasn't, like, I just jumped in there and be like, yeah, like, what, I got so much. But like, and it was just, like, all right, cool. Like, it's cool. I'm sending to my dad. Like, it didn't make me feel any, like, it's crazy, dude. Like, thinking about it right now, talking about it right yeah. now, it just, it was crazy to, to see. And I'm just, like, yeah. okay. Like, it's, I, 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 like I, would, I, I would think myself when I was, like, you know, I didn't have that much money. When I seen that so much money, I would be, like, super excited. Like, oh, my God. But, like, when I seen that, I'm, like. Right. But why do you why do you feel like that? Why why does that why does that not change you when you hit when it hits your pockets? Because like I want more. Like it's like I I know like I, like it's like for me that's not like kind of like okay I made it like you know I I still like I know I can do more I can you know yeah. I can do it's it's kind of like uh what 
Like DJ Birdwater you're, said. Because everybody yeah. can say, like, oh, all right, cool, I did. Like, I got this much amount of money in my, like, okay, I'm good. I'm chilling. Like, all right. But now I didn't take it. Like, I was like, all right, cool. Like, like yeah, exactly. here it is. Like, all right, then cool. Like, you're doing something right, bro. Like, yeah. Continuing. What, what did what did G, uh, DJ Birdwater he say? He said, if I make 5000 10000 this month, fuck that, bro. What Next month, I want to make twenty twenty five and keep going. Yeah. Because it's different, bro. Like, I think one of the one of the biggest things, too, is because... People are going to say, oh, well, you don't have any kids who would, that you have it easier. You feel like you have it easier? No, I feel like if, if I, maybe if I had, I feel like if I had kids, I would even be more, more hungry, you know, because I know I have kids. There I would just go. be more hungry. Yeah. I want more. But like, I don't want, like, I don't, like, the thing, I don't do it for the money. Like, I feel like that's why, too, when I seen that, that much money, I was just like, all right, cool. Like, like I, I, it gets me more excited, like my other stuff. So, so tell us why you do it then. If it's not about the money, then what is it? Like I said, like what do you, what, what more do you got to prove? You're a successful hat designer, creator, yeah. business owner. What more do you got to prove? Uh, fuck. I mean, I, I mean, prove. I mean, I don't. I don't have to prove nothing to no one. Like you know, like I'm not in it to prove. Like oh, okay, I'm gonna do it because Blue Skull thinks this <laughs> or whatever. Like nah, it's just. I see a lot of potential, bro. I just see like yeah. I see I see like I can you might see it like like to this point, but I see like more and beyond that. You know, I know this is can it can even grow more. I know I can have a bigger store. I know I can grow this to have a warehouse. Maybe have a warehouse and have like a legit store where you walk in like some crazy shit you see on TV like a store you walk into like you know like that. I know yeah. I, I can do that. Like I can see it. I can see that happening. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I think that's what kind of like. Like just like having just the people having like having the people jump on your website and like kind of everything selling so fast like it's just like like seeing like the whole United States like cover due to people like liking my stuff like buying stuff like seeing the carts active carts eight hundred carts checking in at, at like two three minutes there's about like sixteen hundred people on the website as soon as I drop and like people just like kind of just like I'm just like damn yeah, looking like me and my primo just looking at like what the hell is going like we're looking at like what the is going on. This is because you, you had it in your TV, right? Yeah, I mean, so every time, every time I do a drop, I like to come. Well, I would do it at my house with my parents and stuff like that. Where I would go to some other shop with my girlfriend, and we would just kind of just sit there and just kind of just, just kind of just taking the moment. Like, all right, cool. Like, this is it. Like, all right. Cool, cool, cool. Like, so, if I don't know if your parents have watched any of the podcasts you've done, yeah, they have. Them watching, bro. What would you tell them though? Like, they're not here. So they're gonna listen to this. Yeah. What would you tell them that you're appreciative of what they did for you? Oh man, my dad. Well, first of all, he gave me everything I ever wanted when I was like a little kid. Like he always strived to like, like if I wanted something, he was gonna buy it for me. Or if I wanted this, like, like that. Like that's like I have so much love for my dad for that. Like that. Like he always strived to give me everything I wanted. My mom was always loving like little. I'm her, I'm still her little baby, bro. Like. <laughs> I'm still her little, like, she still, like, talks to me out, like, a papa chow. Like <laughs> Chiquial, that. That Chiquial, Chiquial <laughs> way, see. Like that, you know what I mean? And, like, um, my mom's always been loving, bro. Very humble. You know, she, dude, she always tells me, like, be humble. Always. Like, just like, hey, don't lose your head. Like, you know, you're doing good. Just don't lose your head. You know, no one likes an arrogant, you know, just because you're, you know, just because you're in a different level or just because you're, you, you're making yeah, this yeah. type of money. Like, yeah. you know, just still be the same, and. I'm still the same dude, bro. Like, I'm, I'm just the same dude, but I'm just more smarter now. Like, you come up to me and ask me a question, like, I can be like, look, you, you should do this. Or, yeah. you should do this. Like, I, you know, I, I can bring value to people, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Like, I, I like to, like, you know, I like to bring, like, all my people that do, that help me out with the, with dandy hats, and like, I, I try to put them in positions where they can make money too, you know? Like, I got my cuñado working, he, he, he start, he's gonna start, like, um, customizing hats. So you guys want a hat? Everybody hits me up. Hey, can you make me hats? Uh, nah. But like now, I was like, okay, you know, that's some money that I can give to someone else that, you know, can make some bread. Boom. All right. You make your own thing, you know, get your own thing. Here's some, you know, here's my connect. Here's everything. Make some money. You know, and people tell me, hey, who makes your hats? I send them to him. You know, my primo, he's in Culiacan. He lives over there. I'm going to put a store over there. He's going to take, he's going to take over. He's in what I'm doing here. He's going to do over there. So. And everybody that comes into my circle, I try to put them like, okay, like you want to start a brand? Yeah. All right, what do you need from me? You know, you have me. Use me to your advantage. Like, what do you need? Yeah. Okay, I need this. Okay, do this. Do that. Do this. Do that. But I'm not going to give you all the answers. 
You, you have to do your research. You have to do this. You have to do this. You have to do this. And then when if, when I see you that you're 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 like you really really want it, then I'll give you like the little cheat codes. Okay, instead of doing this, you do that. So there's been I uh, have another friend started his brand too. That's you know it's going pretty good for him. Too. <laughs> have another you know like I just I don't know. Like I want to help people that actually do want it because like you know helping people that that don't really want it for the right way is never gonna come to them. So it's kind of just like just don't do, yeah. it. just don't even try it. Yeah. Is there a, is there a certain line that you have from people that come to you to try to help you, but re- in reality they just want to take from you and don't give you nothing back? Well, I mean, I, I mean there's been people that came and tried. So, how, to, uh, so let me say this: yeah. How do you protect your circle? How do you protect the circle that you built around what you've been doing that keeps you here? And what kind of struggles you had to go through? People come in and they they they, they close and de- they close their doors on themselves, bro. Because I'm I'm the type of person that like okay, cool, like you come in, cool, but you, you close like they like if they're not doing shit right, they close the doors on themselves. They fuck up and do something that they just close their doors on themselves. I'm like, all right, well, you did it yourself, bro. I didn't do nothing. Like you, you close your doors on yourself. Yeah, that's on you, bro. But I'm here to help. I'm here if you walk in through here and you ask me, like if you catch me on the street, I ask you something. You start kicking it. I'm very like a, hey, pulls up to the shop. Like, let's talk. What do you need? Blah, blah. Okay, there's that. Yeah. And I, like, the Misma people, like, they close it. Like I said, they close the doors on themselves. They leave by themselves, bro. You don't, I don't even got to kick them out. Yeah. They just kind of just like. Are you forgiving about that, though? Like, if they leave now, would you let them back in later? Be honest. You yeah. got to be honest. Because I say no. No. I say no. It is, hey, go about your way, but just know you're not allowed back in here. Because, I mean, if they left now when this shit wasn't doing good for whatever reason it was, but then they want to come back when this shit is doing good, then why do you allow, why am I allowing you to have the same access as the people that did stick with us when this wasn't doing anything? Well, I, I, well, I tried to, like, kind of, like, push like push them to the curb. Like, you know, they, like, um, it happened to me already one time where I had to kind of, like, um, Kind of like slow somebody down. All right, cool. You want to do this? You want to do that? All right. Kind of kept them in the dark. Be cool. Be cool. Be cool. Hey, this. It wasn't the same no more though. But you know, little by little, he kind of like just started showing me like, okay, nah, like you know this that. Like he started showing me that he really did like want to come back to the team, want to be part of it and stuff like that. So I was like, all right, cool. You can you can hop back on the team. Like you kind of showed me like you know you do run. You like you're not back because for for yes. um. For advantage for you, but you just because you yeah you like you know you like what's going on and you know you want to learn from me like that's why I tell everyone like bro you have me like get like learn style I don't mind telling you guys what to do or anything like that but just like use me for you guys advantage like yeah. don't 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 like I don't know like don't like I'm someone that you should use bro like yeah like don't let this opportunity pass by yeah and I feel like that bro because I like there's 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 a lot of people like kind of going through this like everything that I like I've been on a couple podcasts and everything that I do say that I do recommend you know people that actually do it they see success they seek success bro they they see it you know what I mean and it's just for yeah. me it's more clarification for me that I know what the hell I'm talking about like I know what I'm talking about and yeah. if you know kind of like. If you know about the business and you're like, okay, this freaking idiot knows what he's talking about right here. Yeah. That's that's literally like you said, if you talk about whatever you're talking about, you have to have something to back your shit up. Yeah. It's not about just talking about what you can provide and what you can do without having nothing to like back you up. It's about, yo, I did this and this is what I gotta back me up. This is what I can give you. You know, I want you to be a part of this because this is what it is, bro. Like it's this is no front no more. Yeah. We've we talked so much about our journey and everything we've been doing that I could tell you that w- when we do this, this message is gonna be come across people. And it's gonna get X amount of numbers, mm-hmm. X amount of listens, X amount of, because I can provide those numbers to you. I can show you, but I can really tell you when we started, when the first time you came to the house in Fontana, yeah. when we podcasted there. And a lot of people don't know about this, but the guy that told me to hop on TikTok to showcase this was the man right here. <laughs> was this guy here. He's like, yo, hop on TikTok. And as soon as he left and started thinking about it, I said, fuck it, let's run it. How, what, 
If you've never tried it, what's the worst thing that can ever happen to you? It just doesn't work. It just does. Or or you just suck at it. Yeah, you because, just because that's what it is. You people try to do things <laughs> and they suck at it and they never see any success. Why? Because you suck at it. So yeah. do something else. And yeah, dude, that's how it is. You know, a lot of people. Yeah, that's lesson of, of the day. Just lesson the of the day. Up. Yeah, if you're not good at it, you <laughs> may like, just like, suck like at I it. Like I said in Dusko's podcast the first time, it's like, bro, you've been how, how long have you been doing this for already? Shit, this is this is entering year three. Okay, year three, right? You're in year three and you're still getting one view. Every podcast you do is for a reason, dude. Right? It's because he sucks. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, we, we know who. <laughs> it's true. Oh. All right, so everything, everything, bro, everything you ever done with Danny. What are you most proud of? Uh, proud of, um, I'm most proud of being the spot that I'm in right now, bro. We're here chilling. <laughs> bro, bro, stop <laughs> laughing. <laughs> I mean, laugh is blue. Bro. What are you laughing to this big boy? He's like, yeah. He's like, hey, bro, he's like, he's like the Kool-Aid man. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's a Kool-Aid man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right. Yeah, right. we'll, we'll cut this for the for the bloopers. Let's go. <laughs> Don't bloopers this <laughs> game. All right. So, what are you most proud of with everything you accomplished with that? Um. So far, where we're at right now, this is the best thing here. Right? Where we're sitting at, at my shop. Cool. This is, this is, this is a dope ass shop. This, right? this is what I'm the most proud of as of this moment right now. Mm-hmm. Being here and being, you know, pretty. Being pretty, like you said, I don't like to say that I'm hyped up, but you said it, so you yeah. said it. So being, being somebody that's kind of hyped up with the hats, people winning on the hat, uh, yeah. degrees. It's so crazy when somebody else has to say those words. You don't even have to say it yourself anymore. Somebody else does it. It's good. If you say it, like anybody can say it. I can say that <clears throat> my hats are the most hyped up, but my opinion doesn't matter. The opinion matters of you guys. The consumers matter. Yeah. I can say I'm the number one brand in the whole world, but I'm not. You know what I mean? The people, the, I don't say that. The people say that. You know what I mean? So that's how I do it. It speaks for itself. It speaks for itself. What, what's like, what is probably one of the one of the things that you yourself can tell a 15-year-old Leo yeah. from where you're at now? And, and the person that's here with us knows a 15-year-old Leo. Yeah. <laughs> Came in with t- polka dot shoes. <laughs> I think <laughs> didn't know how to tackle. I, I even I was scared to tackle. Actually, I was talking to John today. <laughs> Trying to tackle someone, someone that was last name Moro who was insane. That was suicide. I couldn't tackle that man. We didn't have a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> I tackled him one time and I got yelled at by the coaches. <laughs> hey, don't touch him. Oh, you, oh, you were there. You was a oh, he's the quarterback. Yeah, you know, you was a boy. Play boy. Teachers pet, coaches pet. You need to take that out of the classroom. All the above. He got, he got the privilege. Oh, yeah, he was crazy. Oh, Super awesome. popular guy at school, quarterback, oh my god. Didn't even throw one, one yard his whole high school career. I was know, probably had like 14 times a sense off for you. <laughs> Not a screen job. No, don't be kidding, he really did. <laughs> hey, 26 bucks. 26 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> hey John, remember remember when I oh because I was actually John's um center sometimes. <laughs> funny story, really funny story. So me and jo- so dude I was going emergency. Emergency I was going, right? So sometimes I didn't know like okay on set, on go or whatever. So every time John was like, okay, alright John, we need to kind of do something for me to kind of know when I can fucking ball, you know? So, you know, John would, you know, you know, like, <coughs> casually go up to his back and just, like, kind of put his hands underneath where it's supposed to go, right? Because he's going to get the ball. And he would just kind of, like, go like this. <laughs> and I knew I was going to have to call the next week when something's... <laughs> and he felt something. When I felt something, I was like, I'm going to take it. Because I would get... Because sometimes you would, like, jump off sides because I wouldn't get it. Because I didn't... Because 
Dude, that was like emergency freaking center, dude. Emergency. So, now, now I see why you guys are so close. Oh shit. Yes, okay. I remember those times. It was just a little, a little tough. Yeah, he would. He would. He would. He's like done. Do you want to come on and talk about this? Ah, you don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. What's your yeah, motivation? I tell you, I'm your motivation, fool. Yeah. So it's pretty funny to tell that story now that he's here. I totally forgot. I would tell him like, now and I pretty much. It's a cool story. You know exactly here, the guy that would do that. The guy that would do that. He should try it right now. Yeah, <laughs> Talking to a 15 year old you, bro. Well, like, what can you tell yourself though? Those moments into where you're at right now, sitting, driving the car you drive, being in the place you have, owning the brand that you own. I don't, I don't, I don't think I would say nothing, dude. Like, like, I wouldn't say nothing. Because, like, I just remember back and, like, I, like, I feel like I, everything that happened for, like, I'm here because of everything I did for. 15. I can remember 15, I was having the time of my life, you know, like, you know, I'm mean, hanging out with y'all, you know, like, I, like, I was having fun, like, there's nothing that I, like, I was worried about, nothing, 15, yeah. um, nothing, I feel like, wherever I, whatever I've been through in life has put me in the position that I'm here, and I feel like it would put me in a good position, because Perry, if I would have got, if I was doing all this back when I was 21, I would have just dropped it, you know, all it, and then I wouldn't take advantage of everything that's going on right now, being consistent, yeah. being like this, so. I feel like I had to, you know, do all this. I mean, if I had to tell my 15 year old kind of be like, you know, go go to school. If I go to school, that's probably because I wouldn't go to school. Um, you know, work harder, you know, try to be a better football player. At the time, I don't know. You take, take it out. I mean, the right now, like, you know, like, it's crazy that I think about, like, when the coach is telling like, hey, you, like, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna look back at this and regret that you didn't do you know, actually, and that's how I feel. That's how I was just saying. I mean, like, it's crazy that he told me that. And actually, like, I do regret not like going to the weight room, not like actually like trying and stuff like that. Because my last year senior, I didn't really even try. I didn't really even practice or nothing like that. You know, being just stupid. Because you, know? you guys were ditching him with your hatchback and the yeah. box body. Yeah. So it was. I mean, he had a goal. He was a quarterback. He was so he, he couldn't do anything without that guy. But like, he was kind of wouldn't go, so I didn't take it serious. So I, that's probably the only thing that. I would Back to that, man. I should. What's the difference between a 18 year old Leo and now? Uh, 18 year old Leo was trying to be somebody he would. Ooh. So, does that mean you found yourself? Yeah, I found myself. Man. I'm, like, I'm the real, like, I'm true to myself. Who is who is Leo? I'm young, young, well, not that young, right? I'm to a man. But I'm like. Leo. Like I'm still like I'm still I'm still, I'm still like a kid at heart, bro. Like I still watch like Toy Story. I still like, like I'm a little kid, right? I'm still a little kid. I'm, I'm okay to say that, you know. Like I'm, I like doing like like going to Disneyland and like you know going on Peter Pan, you know why? Like, I'm just like a normal dude, bro. Like just like a lot of shit. Like that's who I am, you know. And I feel like people, you know, a lot of people do like kind of like you know mess with me because I'm real. Like I don't mind like, this movie, I post up that I do this, or I'm not, a, like, I'm just me, you know? Like, yeah. So. so now I'm like more true to myself, like I'm not shy, you know. You're not trying to fit, you're not trying to fit I'm anybody to else's fit. fucking opinion of you, you're not trying to fit that picture. Yeah, I'm not, yeah. So I feel like a lot of people are, are like me, but are just scared not to be like, oh, that food lane, like, yeah. he does this, you know? But I'm still like, I'm, like to have fun, dude, like I'm still, I'm still like a little kid and shit. But I didn't put me to like. With, so, for everybody that's going to listen in, and people are going to listen in one because of our platform, and we love everybody that, that has been following and subscribing to us, but everybody's going to listen in because they feel like Dandy's going to throw out a gem, the secret to becoming successful yeah. into this type of industry business. 
and then I we just talked about this. The success isn't coming with putting products out of it. Nah. It starts way before that. Yeah, so I'm um, just I know we're running out of time, but yeah. so and now nah, we're good on time. So if you can if you can explain how to be successful in your own terms. Yeah. From not just the product and the supplier, but everything else that comes with it. I would say, like, I would say do research first. So before I started to do Daddy Hats again, I would watch podcasts about business, building a brand, doing this, doing that, like everything around to start it. Yeah. That's kind of like, kind of get other people's like, perspective around it and stuff like that. I would watch every single video and I knew what I was getting myself into. So when I did get the product, I already knew what I was going to do. Right, but then still learn as I go because I, I, I got everything and I just kind of put it into what I understood to do it. And okay, this doesn't work, so I gotta do this. Yeah, that doesn't work, so I gotta do this. But like, it's like, it, like, like I said, I, I kept saying, like, if you like, people just suck at this, like, you're not meant to do this, like, you're meant to do something else if, if, if you're not good at it. Because, like, it goes is you have to market, you have to, you know, you have to, you know, you have to have a good persona, you have to. You know, have a good look. It's, it, it, all, it all comes to everything. It all comes to, to, to like one spot. Like, yeah. And if you're missing one of those, it's going to be very hard for you to, you know, be the, be what, be what, you know, be how I am. Because, like, you know, you have to have certain qualities in order to be like this. You know what I mean? Because if, dude, if, like I said, everyone, like, if it was so easy, everyone would do it. Exactly. Everyone would yeah. do it. Everyone. But it's, it's not successful. easy. You know yeah. what I mean? Because it, it, it all comes to you, like, it all comes back to you, like, if you're good at it, if you understand it, then, like, maybe if I, if I did podcast, then I wouldn't know what I'm doing, you know? Like, you guys started doing hats, right? It's like, we had no idea what the fuck we were doing. Right? If I wanted, but what would you do? Okay, first I would, yeah. um, okay, I would, I would, I would to me, and then I'll be like, okay, how can I build the brand? We gotta build the brand, we gotta do all yeah. this other stuff. There's, there's a lot more, there's a lot more to it than what people see, right? Like, yeah. There's one thing that we did, like, for the people that are watching, if you are loyal fans of both of us, then you need to watch the one way back then, yeah. a whole, like, year and something ago, where literally you talked about going to places because there were artists or famous people there, and you had to hand out personally hats. Yeah. Or pretend like you have, you were handing out hats, and you took it back, because that's the only one you got. Yeah. And now it's like, bro, you have inventory. Yeah. And that shit is getting sold out on its own. Yeah. The struggle from the beginning to now, you, you're not the same as when you first started in 2015, no. going person to person, carrying hats everywhere you went. Yeah. Like, you're literally, you were, I think it was, it was last year for sure, you were out of Disneyland and you took out, you brought hats with you and you posted a new story. If you're this and you see me come get a free hat. Yeah. Within ten minutes that shit was gone. Yeah, it was gone. It's not it's not the same anymore. Yeah. It's not the same when you're giving out a hat and you gotta get it back because that's the only one you have. Now you're giving out hats because you're giving back to the people that supported you and love you. Yeah. And love and continuously love you. So Leo, like it's not the same anymore, bro. Mm. Every, like we were it was so beautiful <laughs> for myself to see because for people that don't know, we went to high school together, we graduated together, and now we're sitting in this type of platform together, mm -hmm. where when we were here in your grand opening, people are coming in and, yo, can we take a, can we take a, a picture? Yeah. Can you sign this? Can you sign that? Seeing the line all the way outside, wrapped around. We actually got an iron back then. Yeah, we got a line. We're like, we're not going to go over the door. We're just going to go get a line regular. Right? <laughs> so Raul, Raul comes and he's like, oh, we're humble, oh, we're humble. Yeah, I told him to go get guys. I saw you get a line. Okay. We're no one special, but we'll, we'll line up with you. I, I think we're just like how you say to, like for yourself, we're nobody special. Yeah. We just know what we provide and we let somebody else do that talk for us. And we love every but, single person. But honestly, didn't it feel cool that someone went outside and got you guys? Oh, like, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's when Raul came out all the time. <laughs> yeah, you know, and you know, there's a there's a moment for us that day too, that we were I was talking to Jose at at the end, and there's somebody that just stepped to the side of us bro, for like ten minutes. We're like, oh, she's in the corner. Yeah, we're like, why why is she stepping to the like? I saw it. I was like, 
Oh, I was like, I'm gonna continue talking to my guy. We we're talking, talking. Another ten minutes passed. About twenty minutes passed, and then I turned around because I seen uh, Dylan and Jose talk to her. Turned around, and she was like, "Yo, do you mind if we take a picture?" And I was like, "What?" And she was like, and "I was like, oh, yeah, hell yeah, like, dude, interrupt me. Let me, like, let me yeah. do this. I'm more of a fan of you than you're a fan of me." Yeah. And I was like, "Yo, I was like, damn, how long you been a fan of that <laughs> I don't even know who he is. <laughs> bro, she had no idea what the fuck I was like, I don't even know who he is. I just, I came because you guys posted you guys were coming. Oh, she, she, bought, she bought hats though. Oh, yeah, she did. She bought hats. She was like, I need a president. Yo, these are actually very cool. I was like, oh, this is a, she was like, and I always see you guys wear it on your show. I was like, yeah, we always do, bro. Like, yeah. no, like there's, I think you can see oh. when we tied you in the post, but yeah, like, oh, time time. Time. like, my, my homeboy, my homeboy Junior came with me, bro. Uh, some all that motherfucker. I don't even remember. You probably don't because you took a picture of the shit, motherfucker. Yeah. But he sent me a picture after. Yeah. He was okay. like, yo, I caught like fucking five or six different hats, and I was like, oh shit. He's like, yeah, bro, you put me on Danny hats, and I sing on Danny hats, bro. All right. Okay. Yeah. So, it, I think when when you mess when you live by a certain brand and you mess with the person that you believe in that person more than the brand and no matter what happens like you you talk heavily with them so we've been in rooms where we're just like dude i could tell you about a certain dude named leo that has this this brand and he's taking that to a whole nother level yeah. you know when you when your friend and your people that really love you talk about you when you're not even in that type of room and not even existing in that type of room it's a whole different type of love. Yeah. I, because, like, I'm going to, we don't create this, you create this, but we're over here, like, even just wearing this type of hat, and, like, now we're doing an episode, wearing the hat, and we're sitting with the creator. True. You know what I mean? Compared to us wearing the hat and sitting with somebody else, now people are going to see and listen to what it, like, I know for a fact, the shoes, the clothes, the chain, everything, that doesn't make who you are. Nah, nah. It's Leo makes Danny and Danny makes Leo. And whatever else comes with it, that's it, bro. Yeah. So you you at one point, at one point in your in your journey, you gotta do you you for sure have to sit back. Yeah. And you gotta embrace everything. However that looks like, whether it's in this store or the next shop. You have to embrace it because when you embrace what your journey has been like and you really take it upon yourself, you're really gonna be like, damn, I really did this. I really created something that came out of nothing. And when I didn't believe in it and when no one else believed in it, I still did. And I created this and I'm here. So like, the power above took care of all of us and that's why we're here, right? And bro, these are your flowers. You created something that maybe not even yourself could have ever imagined that you're sitting here now in your own shop, in your dream shop. Dream shop, yeah. Dream shop. Driving an amazing car, having your people around you, taking care of your family. That has to be one of the most impressive, one of the most motivating, motivational things ever because you are a walking testimony. Yeah. Walking testimony. You can talk about when you failed, when you thought of quitting, when you quit, and then when you came back, and then when you went all in. Yeah. You went all in. You said it right now and said it earlier. There's a reason why you said in a year, you said you did this in a year. Why did you do this in a year? Why do you feel like you made all this happen in a year? You're asking me a question? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking a question for another half of because I'm done. Why? Is okay. it because I prepared, I, 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 Fucking went all in to it. No, that's 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 why right. I mean I put all my time, effort and trust into myself to my gut and to be like, okay, what we're we gonna do and we're gonna do it correctly now and we're gonna put our heads down and we're gonna work and work and if it doesn't ha if it doesn't work, well, it doesn't work and we will figure out something else to do. But for now, let's let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. Just take one, one step at a time. If this doesn't work, okay, we're going to do next, we're going to do next, we're going to do next. 
But well, there's gonna be something that's gonna freaking work. Yeah. And I'm just looking up that the first thing that I actually put my freaking mind to work. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, um, obviously, your hats are, are very, like, that's a staple of your, of your brand. But if you don't ask, if you don't mind me asking, I see you're a shoe guy. You got the, you got the Travis Jacks on, yeah. bro. You got the blue shoe. I'm jacking onto this shit. Bro, I had a shoe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm catching the right off the yeah. Um, Why hats, though, bro? Uh, obviously, you're a shoe guy. You're, you're, you know, clothing. Clothing guy. Why hats out of everything? Why hats, bro? Why hats? Well, because, I mean, like, I said in the first podcast, it was just, I saw, I saw some guy that was freaking just making hats and making money and had a nice car taking pictures with people, and I was like, man, I already just sells hats. Cool. I'm going to start selling hats too, maybe I could get it. He only sells hats, okay, so he says. <laughs> yeah, only hats. <laughs> yeah, only hats. But yeah, that was, okay, that was, why right hats? Because of that, and then just kind of like, stick, stick, stick to the hats like that. Just like that, because I saw this guy driving a nice car, people taking pictures of him. I'm like, man, this guy just freaking sells hats, and if you want to take pictures of him, have a nice Mercedes. He's like, I want the Mercedes. I want the Mercedes. I want that type of, you know? Yeah, that recognition. That recognition. So for everybody watching, and it, ha- it has been honestly a pleasure and an honor like to sit with you in your in your own place once again. Yeah. And now at the level you are, this is literally a couple of days before the online drop. Yeah, I'm gonna drop it. Which is coming. This episode, I believe, drops on the same on the Monday. Monday. Your episode. Your drop lands on Sunday. Sunday. So this is the day after. after. Oh, it's going up that quick. Uh, oh yeah, we work day and night. Oh, oh yeah, we work day and night. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> you know it, man. <laughs> you know. <laughs> what's the expectation for for Sunday? When you wake up on Monday, what's the expectation? So we have it on here. So Ex- people listening are gonna hear this shit and be spoken into existence. Okay. Well. There's no expectation, but what how everything is programmed, how everything has been going, it looks like a it looks like a one. Oh dude, it looks like a no more than a two day seller. No more. No more than a two day seller. I don't I don't doubt so, you. Uh, With all these designs, bro. bro. Uh, like like me kind of like okay like it's 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 this is this would kind of just blow my this would blow my mind. This would blow my mind. Selling out like in about like six, six, selling out in like about six hours. That would count as like all these crazy, like how big the fun is and all that. Yeah, so like. That's crazy to tell you that. Yeah, that would be fucking nuts. Yeah. You got it. We, we are a motivational podcast. We are a quote podcast. Did you prepare this one today, Dylan? I, I did not, but um, <laughs> I have one I have one in mind oh, off of what he said. Get one in your mind right now, too. Oh, uh, cool? Okay. Yeah, yeah get, get a quote. Cool. Um. <laughs> <laughs> no, hey, John, get a quote, cool too. <laughs> He's like, fuck, man. Right hard, baby. Um, <laughs> it's right hard. Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, hey. My yo. Uh, you gotta go to Glamis. You gotta go to Glamis to understand that. I've never been, I've never been a... I went one time and never going back again. I don't think I'll ever go, but it's supposed to abort it. <laughs> Not wrong. <laughs> oh Shit, I'll, I'll see you raising across that damn bitch right there. Who's coming back, dude? Alright, what, what is it? Um, like he said earlier, a lot of people, you give thanks to a lot of people that believe on you, but I feel like the people that push you to go the extra mile of people that didn't believe in you. You know, and it's not that you want to prove at the end of the day that you had what you had at the end of the day. It's just the people that didn't believe in you is just that kind of like turn table type of stuff where it's like, all right, I got this shit. And thank you for doubting me. Thank you for not believing me. And I'm here uh, for a reason. And I, I, I've always had that spark in me. And I got it, bro. I'm, I'm him. I'm him. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, yeah, sure. I can go. I don't want to talk about that. I can go all on you. Oh, no, no, you can end it. I can go and then you end this. You can end it. Alright, you can end this. So, my my thing, and I I heard it this other other day, and this is not from me. This is actually a quote from 
Put some DW party on that beach. <laughs> yeah, man. I, I heard it from, from somebody else that said, what if it could turn out better than you anticipated? And the only way you're ever going to find out is if you actually give it a shot and you give it a try. Shout out so. to the homie Russ. I had to. I had to. Same. Same. Hey, shout out, Russ. Russ, what up, Russ, my guy? All right, this is this is it, bro. This is the ending of an amazing podcast with the one and only Leo Sandoval, aka Dandy. Okay. Where we at? No pressure. No pressure. No pressure. Speak your mind. Speak your mind. If you're not first. You're last. Hey! That's it. 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 <laughs> I'm gonna do this shit. I'm not serious. Bacock! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, this is hard. This is hard. I mean, um, so I'm, trying, I'm trying to go through all the quotes in my head right now. Shout out to Pickle. Shout out to Pickle. You wanna buy a little quick? Yeah, man, for the Yama. For the Yama. I feel like, um, like, okay, there it is. Don't force anything. Don't force anything. Like that's that's don't force anything. That's right. That's right. That's right. Thanks for the podcast. Every guy Leo came through. When we came through, Leo showed up. Hey, stay tuned. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Let's go.